And Dan, he looked me in the eye and he said, I think I'm gonna pop the question. And I was like, okay, or if you should, oh, sorry, one second. Okay, sorry. Um, where was I? Uh, I first met Dan in college. He was a junior, I was a freshman, so he was basically a celebrity. Dan is actually kind of like a brother to me. Uh, that's not true. I hate my brother. F you, Philip. More than anyone I know, Dan marches to the beat of his own drummer. And Dan was like, I'm gonna drop acid. And I was like, Dan, you can't do that. It's your grandmother's funeral. Uh, and he was like, I don't care. I'm gonna do it anyway. You didn't know that? Okay. <laughs> Apologies to the parents. Um... So this one day Dan and I were walking and he pointed out a billboard for the wedding pact because as we all know, he loves Haley Duff. So he looks at that, he says, I can't wait for that movie, but I'm never getting married. And then the very next day, he met Kelly. And I, and I was like, didn't you already date a girl named Kelly? And he was like, yeah. And what's even weirder is they look the exact same. Uh, anyway, that's how we started calling her Kelly too. And the best thing about Kelly, other than the fact that she loves Haley Duff almost as much as Dan does, is that she marches to the beat of her own drummer too. And yet somehow, she and Dan manage to march together. Yeah, Kelly is a wonderful girl uh, and her skin is even better. Uh, soft, like an angel's pillow and her lips. God, I still, I still remember that night in college. So let's raise a glass to Dan and Kelly. Okay, well look, too many years of love, marriage, and Red Sox games. Uh, I hope you go to many. Uh, I've been to several with Dan and Kelly. N uh, not new Kelly, with fun Kelly. Every time we went to a game, they would end up on the kiss cam. Not again, not this one, the other one. Because they were so they were so clearly like physically into each other. Like it was annoying. 